Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 11th of February. James Spann, it's been a soaker today. Tomorrow's going to be a soaker, but we do expect brighter days later this week, at least temporarily. And then we turn very cold. Winter is far from over. Now, let's get in there and check some of the Skycam shots. These were captured at mid-afternoon. That's coming from the Inverness Skycam overlooking Highway 280 from the Wingate Inn, where rain is falling. There's a Selma Sky Cam raining there. The Alabama River down below, it's in flood. And all of the major state rivers are on the rise. And from Trussville, rain falling there. Well, here's the deal. We've got this upper low that's over the Great Lakes, a stalled surface boundary around here. And out west, a big trough in the southwest. That'll be increasing rain again on the boundary tomorrow. Uh, So, again, the rain isn't over. There could be a break tonight, but tomorrow looks pretty wet. Temperatures have just changed little today. We've got mostly 50s up on the map, uh, 60 down at Montgomery and Alexander City. Warm spot Auburn at 61. And they'll pretty much sit there all night tonight and all day tomorrow. Those numbers will just not change much. There's the big rain shield at 222. Now, north of a line from Fayette to Jasper to Aniana to uh, Weiss Lake. It's dry for now. Uh, The big rains are south of that line. Uh, the most serious flooding today down in uh, Houston and Geneva counties. In fact, if you look on the uh, map there, you can see those counties are still highlighted in dark uh, purple. That's uh, meaning flash flood warnings. There's a flash flood watch for areas along and south of Interstate 20 or south of a line from Tuscaloosa to Birmingham to Anniston as uh, the ground obviously is saturated. We'll check the convective outlooks rest of today. A little bitty slight risk. From about uh, Apalachicola in Panama City up into Georgia around Bainbridge and Valdosta. That's probably about the smallest slight risk you'll ever see. Tomorrow, the immediate Gulf Coast has a chance of severe weather. New Orleans, Biloxi, Mobile, Pensacola, Destin, Panama City, Fort Walton Beach. Up this way, some thunder possible. Don't expect any severe weather. And on day three, which is Wednesday, low in 5% severe weather possibilities for parts of North Florida and South Georgia. More rain? Yeah, we don't need it, but we're going to get it. This is the uh, rain through uh, Saturday evening for the next five days. Heavier totals south of Montgomery. Amounts of over two inches possible down there on top of everything that's come down so far. And up this way, additional rain amounts of one to two inches are likely. And that's the reason the flash flood watch remains in effect. All right, model fans, let's take a look. This is the uh, GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. You can see the trough approaching from the west, and again, that's going to add some dynamic lift and probably bring more rain. Now, you can see a surface low is developing just below Dallas-Fort Worth, and uh, rain should be increasing west of the state. Now, keep in mind, there could be a break in the rain tonight. Uh, but rain will increase again during the day tomorrow as that uh, surface wave on the front approaches. Uh, This is tomorrow night at midnight. The surface wave is near Demopolis, and at that point the heavier rain should be moving east, so I'd say the main uh, 12-hour window for the heavier rain tomorrow from about noon until midnight. And then Wednesday, the surface low is moving up into uh, North Carolina, and the rain should begin to taper off. Uh, Still, there's a chance we could see some lingering light rain uh, early Wednesday. Uh, But again, uh, at this point, uh, I don't think it rains that much, but the sky will probably stay cloudy. Now, Thursday, we go dry. That's uh, something everybody's looking forward to. Uh, We'll start the day in the 30s. The high should be in the upper 50s. That is exactly average for this time of the year. And Friday looks good. Uh, Sunny with highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s. But, ooh, look at the snow developing over Oklahoma and Kansas. Yeah, let's see what happens with that. All right, this is Saturday the 16th. And let's give the GFS credit. You know, it's been hinting at some type of little winter weather mischief here for for literally, what, almost two weeks. And uh, we'll take a look at the setup here. Uh, This is the surface chart at midday Saturday. In the 540 line, the critical thickness line, the the line that could represent the difference between rain and snow, dives all the way down into South Alabama. 
And look at that. The model is showing some of the heavier snow around Jackson, Mississippi on Saturday. Right there in the base of that trough where the air aloft is coldest. Maybe some convective snow showers in there. Wouldn't that be something? We'll bump at six hours. This is Saturday evening at 6 o'clock local time. And again, see that green patch down there near Montgomery. That would suggest the better snow potential down there. And I'm not saying that's going to happen, but clearly it's going to be a very cold day. Look at the 540 line down in the Gulf. You know, the GFS keeps wanting to print these highs around 50. Well, if those thickness values are right, we won't get out of the 30s. It'll be a very cold and windy day, uh, blustery. And we're going to mention snow flurries or snow showers, accumulating snow. You know, I, I don't know. A snow shower can make the ground white, uh, but they should be moving along at a pretty good clip. So I don't think the snow will be a big deal. The cold will certainly be a big deal. Well, check the European just for the fun of it. This is at the same hour. This is Saturday evening at 6 o'clock. It's almost identical. The 540 line is in the Gulf. Uh, you can see enough moisture for a few snow flurries or snow showers. So very good model agreement. Saturday looks like a very cold day. Highs in the 30s, an icy north wind, and a chance of snow flurries or snow showers. And then Sunday, uh, it's going to be cold now. Uh, lows could be anywhere from 18 to 23 or 24, something like that. Uh, it'll be a very cold morning. Now, our friends in the Northeast will note, uh-oh, another nor'easter. Uh, that is 980 millibars uh, that, again, would hammer the same places that were buried last weekend. But I don't have the graphic to show you, but just be aware the European does not show that. So I'm not so sure that's going to happen, but the GFS has it on the board, just something to watch. And then uh, Monday of next week, we are dry. We start to warm up as a southerly flow kicks in and a new storm forms off to the west. Uh, weather looks active for the rest of the month. Here's the 19th batch of rain coming through, 22nd batch of rain and storms coming through. Look at the blizzard look there for Chicago, if this is right. And on the 26th, another batch of rain and storms. And uh, for all three of these events, the 19th, the 22nd, the 26th, we're in the warm sector. So instead of worrying about ice and snow, we'd be worried about rain and storms. But uh, again, we all know this isn't the land of voodoo, but certainly the pattern looks very active for the rest of the month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget, if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Who's got time to listen to boring radio shows? If you're going to listen to something, listen to something good like Eavesdrop. My favorite thing about Christmas it's not the presents. No. And it's not the million no. Christmas parties. And it's not playing Dirty Santa. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's about relationships. relationships. I know. I know exactly where you're going it, with that. Yeah. It, it just is. It is. And take the time. What if this is your last Christmas yeah. and you never know? Just talking it up. They may use the name Jesus in a terrible way when they hit their thumb with a, you know, <laughs> with, a, with a hammer by accident on right. Saturday afternoon when they're working on their car. But don't bring Jesus into a song and give him a beer. That ain't right. Yeah, hey, I know a few <laughs> of those folks myself. Bama Talk Show. But before we head for the Dome, we got business to take care of at home. So making plans for the throwdown in downtown Atlanta, we'll have to wait until that post-game rammer jammer rings in the postseason for Bama and the offseason for the barn. Auburn unleashed. That magical score that, that Auburn fans remember, 17-16, came out of that game. And Bill Newton was responsible for the, for the chant, punt, Bama, punt. Bill, thank you for joining us. Uh, good afternoon, Adam. I appreciate y'all having me as uh, the first guest on your show. Worldview Matters. And, you know, we've been talking about a number of things. Last couple of times we talked about socialism. We moved from Islam to socialism, and we were going to continue today to do the same thing. But a lot of things have happened in the world in the past 10 days. Uh, it's oh, heated yeah. up again in, in, in Israel. So I thought it would be a good uh, chance for us to talk about some of the things that relate to worldview as it relates to the Israeli situation and Egypt and all that's going on in the Middle East. High School Heroes. And the plane goes right through the bridge and doesn't catch on fire. It's tons of stuff, man. Uh, tons of unrealistic stuff, but hey, it was really cool, actually. Warning, any of these shows can be addictive and they are all fun. Listen on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.